<laughs> North Ranger, I love Princess Leia. Uh, so, I promised to tell you before the break how is Babby formed, and you will find out by the end of this chair acquisition. We're throwing chairs at Odium to the core. It's developed by Dark Dash One on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about two, three bucks, depending on where you're at. What is it? Odium to the core is a challenging single button music based game with a dark monochromatic art style. It's not monochromatic. There are many, many colors. As you're seeing right now, maybe you don't understand what monochrome looks or means. Guide Odium, the floating character, through dangerous and intense music fueled levels to eliminate the spreading corruption. Reach the core and save Zavald. Uh, the devs did send us some keys for this, so we're going to subject them to the new and improved revised chairquisition. Oh my god, it's all fire! Look at that Ubuntu logo, it's burning! <laughs> the Nora logo is slightly less singed. This is where we take a game, we run through it, we do some uh, we do, do some basic analysis. Things like, does it launch? How well does it perform? Um, are there any graphical bugs? And how we control it? And we give it a score based on the technical aspects. And then we give it the fun score, whether which is, did we like it? Did we think it's pretty? What do we think? But it's sort of a catch-all for the sort of more ephemeral details of gameplay, of uh, the more opinion-based stuff. So let us kick this off um, for the first share to the launch. Hey, man. Ubuntu? No, let's just run this straight down. Uh, All right. Yep. Piece by piece. Over here on Kumbuntu, I am running the 1700 with a 980, 1804 LTS. It launched out of the box, no issues, played it in all the resolutions, but there is a slight issue there. Now, it does run at 60, easy, at 1080 and 2160, no problems, but where it does run into a problem and loses a chair out of the four possible ones is it fails to remember my screen resolution, which can be a ginormous. Unfortunately, I can tap the back button and go from 640 by 480 every single time I launch the game, even after I save it and go back to 3840 by 2160. That is a pain in my left pinky toe. Uh, controls, no issues. Worked out of the box. Steam controller, just make sure you have the overlay on. So, for its health report, it gets three chairs. Hong Kong Ubuntu, 1804 LTS. How's it working over there in Milady Land? Yeah, on uh, Fedora 2864-bit, I'm running the i7-6700K with the GTX 1080 Ti. Yep, everything launched out of the box. Um... After I took off uh, V-Sync, I was getting several thousand FPS on <laughs> the uh, on uh, 1080 and about 260 FPS on the UHD, which is what I played the rest of the game with. As I had no problem with it remembering my resolution, so that is a thing. Um, Control-wise, you click a button, you hit the mouse button. If you can do that, you should be in the clear. Yeah. So on Fedora 28. Uh, I'm going to give it a big old four chairs. No real issues. What about Solus with the fire yeah, of evil burning in your heart? Solus, it uh, works pretty well. It launches just fine. Uh, it has absolutely no issues remembering my screen resolution either. Uh, and I've been the one who's had the most issues with that lately. Uh, on uh on the performance metric, it held 60 with VSync on. I didn't feel the need to turn it off, to be honest. Uh, be it at full screen 3840 by 2160 or 1080p, just it is pretty good. Uh, everything showed, everything sound, it's uh, pretty good. And the controls, yeah, like Jordan said, you tap one button, so it it would be pretty hard to fuck that one up. But I guess you would need to be at a special kind of sauce for that to happen. So as far as Solus is concerned, it gets four chairs. All, All right. right, so one segment. Hey yep. man, that's four in Fedora, four in Solus, and three on Ubuntu. Mainly because I, 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 I genuinely had to dig at a chair if I got to reset my resolution every single fucking time I play the game. Oh, I, 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 I so very much like it when the 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 sort of stock distribution that this is all supposed to be standardized on just doesn't work. Yeah, it it, it tickles me in my nether regions. All right. So next next section is the fun, the catch all. So I'll hand it off to Ven to tell us why this game is the best thing. You know, uh, out of us three, I, I think I enjoyed it the most. Listen, man, this is fucking <laughs> Flappy Bird. Don't lie to people. Uh, I never played Flappy Bird. I did spend some time with Flappy Goat and Goat Simulator, believe it or not. Probably too much time, more than I'd like to admit. Mechanics-wise, this is more of the same. You got one button, as Jordan pointed out. It What it does, man, it pushes your inky, gelatinous ass up in the air. Gravity takes care of the rest. And uh, 
really the only other part of playing the game is trying not to fuse whatever controller you're using to your wall through <laughs> momentum. Uh, it's hard, man. I mean, it's borderline fuck you because that's why hard slash malicious. And you know what? I actually can kind of respect that. You know, sometimes I like getting a little angry because you know what? It's been said anger gets shit done. Well, for me, 30 minutes, because that's where I flap the hell out. I get a little too angry at this. It's like, let's not break anything. Glass desk. Not joking. <laughs> I might do this, you know, just revisit this next time I need some high blood pressure, because Odium to the Core absolutely <laughs> delivers that kind of in spades. It is one of those games that it, it gives you something tangible, something beatable, something you know you can fucking master if you just get your shite together. It's one of those titles, and... I dig the art style. You're looking at it right there. It's monochromatic. It's got some colors. It's well done. It's not lazy at all. And it's something you can pick up, put down, preferably not throw controllers into your walls and or TVs. And it's three wet stinky caches. So you know what? No, sir. I don't completely hate this. I'm going to give this out of the four possible chairs. I'll give it a two, which is a solid. Nah, not bad. Yeah. I have... An irrational distaste for these sorts of games. <laughs> Having been stuck in many, many a doctor's office uh, with a cell phone and the helicopter version of this game, tap tappy copter. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, these, these, this, this sort of game just doesn't do anything for me. That said, I recognize that there was a fuck ton of effort put into this game. Mm-hmm. The level design is labyrinthine and there's lots of secrets and lots of stuff for you to do. And it's challenging, and um, like the the the, the music the music is well done. When you're not hearing the same section over and over again, when you keep dying in that one spot, um, the 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 gameplay syncs with the music relatively well, which is kind of hard to do, uh, especially especially in fast paced games such as these. But I think it works without so much devolving into a rhythm game, a la Thumper. Mm-hmm. But it, it's it's very clear people actually put forward an effort to make this the best product they could given the limitations. Unfortunately, it just doesn't do anything for me. I I'm not one of these people where angry gets shit done. I'm one of those people who will throw their controller. Oh, oh, into sweetheart, the angry and... gets shit done. Just not in a productive way on your end. <laughs> no, if, if I, if I want angry, angry gets shit done. If I want to remodel my house, because <laughs> I'll be digging things out of walls and putting holes in other walls. Um, and stabbing myself in the leg, which is not fun, at least when, uh, when I'm not paying someone anyways, but, uh, <laughs> that said, um, I'm, I'm just going to give it one chair just cause like, 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 like I said, I recognize that there's a fuck ton of effort put in this game, but I cannot enjoy, I'm just incapable of enjoying these games. I, I gave this one a shot. I gave it half an hour. The, here, here's the thing that when, when there is an achievement in this game that like, You've made it through an hour of our bullshit to me. That is not a good sign, but you know, your <laughs> mileage may vary, Pedro. Yeah, no, my, my, my mileage doesn't vary at all. That uh, no. Uh, so I hate Flappy Bird. I do. It's, um, it's the epitome of the cell phone type of game. You hit the button on the screen when you want something to go higher and you just let gravity take care of the rest when you want to go lower. It's, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, It's not completely irrational that hatred I have for this particular genre. It's you're going in blind uh, until you've replayed the level over and over that you learn the thing. It's uh, whenever you make progress, it just, throws the same repetitive bullshit at you and that's really all it can do and all you can do on your end is tap a finger on a screen and just be done with it this on the other hand showed up on my uh, desktop pc and all i could do was hit a click on the mouse and that was all i could do it's to be fair, it improves on Flappy Bird quite a lot. Uh, the levels it are all finely crafted. Yeah, it's, it, 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 it implodes. It really does a, re- a good job of uh, improving on the Flappy Bird concept. It does. Uh, the The speed that your character goes along based on the background music, that's very good. Uh, the play with color and figuring out what is in the foreground and what is in the background, that's also very good. 
it's possibly the best example of a helicopter game style Flappy Bird that, you know, Flappy Bird was based on. And all I can think about is that it cements my total, complete, and utter meh. Motherfucker, I'm getting stressed out just watching you play. Um, Yeah, no, I am terrible at it. I make no excuses. It's... I don't like it. One chair. So I got to ask, did anyone ever figure out what the little, I mean, I'm guessing the red line at the bottom is how far you're, in the level you you're, were at. Yes. Yeah. Your, your, your progress in the little spikes are the check. I never paid that much attention. Just like, make sure you use your headphones. I'm like, for fucking what? Nothing against the game audio itself. I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't find it offensive, but I was like, why Do, am I supposed the, to be the, doing something to time? The there, there, there are, there are clues about the level in the audio like Mm -hmm. you can you the little spikes uh in the uh, progress bar at the bottom are where you died Mm. oh are they oh yeah all right uh t-i-l all right well that so fun wise i guess ven you're giving it two i'm giving it one pedro's giving it one so from that make of it what you will it's three bucks if you want to do the deep dive it's three bucks for a fuck around game I, i say pick it up I mean, no. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if 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 you if don't, you like, if you're like me and Pedro, and you don't like Flappy Bird games, then you know, don't go, yeah. go, go buy like half a sandwich at a subway or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is a uh, Flappy Chicken, Flappy Bird, Tappy Chicken, whatever you want to call it, type game. It's not going to change your mind about the genre, but if you like those games, this is a very good one. Yeah, I, I'd but, almost agree with you, Pedro. Like, this is probably the best that we're gonna see out of this genre. Yep. <laughs> this is about um, as far as you can push it and listen this you know flappy bird was that shit between you know mario pipes uh this is this is next level anger this can bring you mm-hmm. yes <laughs> yeah the, yeah mario Absolutely. was the og flappy bird <laughs> the, water, the, the water levels yeah okay fuck fuck those cheap jeeps <laughs> <laughs>